When you take a look at what's happened across the last few years, four years ago, five years ago, we never thought we'd see the economic collapse that we've seen hit all across America. Banks collapsing, people losing their houses, things that we never saw, thought we'd see. Not since the 1930s have we seen an economic situation so dire. All the hot listeners, all your Black Pearl fans, we're here at Squires. You know Squires, mm -hmm. right? It is Squires. And we're supporting Louis Reed. And this is for the young youth community who like uh, if you're into hip hop music or whatever. We know who Nelly is. We got the Nelly. We support our St. Louis home. But for the young community, we also should know Louis Reed. And this man is committed for the betterment of St. Louis. And Young bro, that's my son, Young bro. Next, I want to reach out to a lot of my fans that we need to support Louis Reed. I support Louis Reed, and let's make St. Louis better. Runway Two Empowerment Radio One. We're gonna get it in. That's make it no, is. and make no things that also Louis Reed is the bomb. If it wasn't for Louis Reed, there's so much that you would not have. Right. So with that being said, Runway Two Empowerment Radio One, make no. We love you. But one of the things that it should force all of us to do is take a look at St. Louis and a hard look at St. Louis and say, what do we really want our future to be? Is it going to be going back to 1763 when they when they founded St. Louis on the fur trade? I don't think we could do that. Furs aren't popular anymore. But we need to look at what we want St. Louis to be and how we want St. Louis to be perceived by the nation. And one of the things we all need to remember, I don't care if you're blue, white, red, green, it doesn't matter. We all rise and fall as one. We all rise and fall as one city. Because we're all St. Louisans at the end of the day. It doesn't matter if you live in Clayton, you're St. Louis. If you live in Powhatan, Missouri, you're St. Louis. You're all St. Louisans. So we need to really embody that and think about that and really drive for what we want St. Louis to be in the future. So, you know, if we think about some of our natural assets, we think about Washington University, we think about the biotech stuff, think about the cures for cancer and things like that they're working on, just right up the street. How often have you heard friends really tout that? Opposed to how often have you heard friends talk about how terrible the school system is, how bad our roadway is, some of those things. We need to start holding ourselves to a higher standard and start promoting those positive things and start the change here in St. Louis and carry that change forward. Again, we're all one city. We will succeed and fail as one city, one unified body. All of us, and again, it doesn't matter what your background is, it doesn't matter where you came from, it doesn't matter, any of those things, it's all wrong. We need to come together and fight as one city, especially during these tough economic times. It becomes even more important. Your neighbors, your friends, reach out to them. Help them out with them. I can't, again, I cannot thank you enough for coming out tonight. I've been thinking about what message I wanted to give tonight. And I had a whole speech and all that stuff. I'm leaving all that on the table. We can talk about that another time. I'll post it on the internet for you. <laughs> but, <laughs> but when you have this many people in one place, it's important, I think, to put forth a message uh, that, you know, that we can carry on with us. And, and sometimes it's good to slow down. And what caused me to slow down at night, uh, when I was heading out of the house, my mother called me. My mother can talk. So I was in a hurry. I wasn't going to take the call up. I said, man, I probably should wait. My sister Roberta sitting out here. I don't know if Roberta got the news, but she's getting ready to get the news now. I probably shouldn't wait to tell you a different way. But she called me on the way out the house, and my father's had all kinds of medical conditions, all kinds of illnesses, lost both his legs. So very, very complicated source of things came down on me. But tonight she called me and she said, I want to tell you, we went to the doctor today, and your father is, has no more cancer in his body. Oh, so that's, 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 I want to thank a lot of people for coming 
come out tonight, Doc Surge. I see, I see he's come out tonight. Give Doc Surge a round of applause. Rank right, number one. Uh, uh, the number one African paper in the nation, in the nation of St. Louis American. And uh, I, like I said, I see a lot of old friends, all the committee people here. I don't know if the committee people are all introduced, but could you give all these committee people a round of applause? Yeah. Uh, to be short, so what I'm going to say here is this. Uh, this next session of the Board of Aldermen, we have a lot of tough work ahead of us. We have redistricting facing us right, right square dead on head and eye as soon as we get back after the first of the year. We have all kinds of other things. We have budgetary issues and things of that nature. But what I'm going to commit to you is this, and the other members of the board are here tonight and they're committing the same thing just, by, just through my conversations with them. We're going to strive each and every day to support you. We're going to strive each and every day to carry on and to support those issues that are important to you, St. Louisans. Because that's what you put us there for. That's why you're out here tonight. And understand, not one day will go where we will not understand and remember that. Thanks again for your time. <laughs>